Hi guys, welcome to Whiskey and Sunshine Off Grid. I'm Shelly. I'm Scott. <laughs> now what do we do? We have whiskey, but we, have whiskey. we don't have much sunshine. It's yeah, a rainy no day. Today. It's a rainy day out today. So we're doing some stuff around the house, you know, little chores and things. And one of the interesting things that I thought we might do today is um, for many years, I've been carrying around five gallon buckets in all of our vehicles. Our, our kids had them. Uh, you have one in your vehicle. Yep. I've always had one in mine. Uh, they're not meant to be like a bug out bag. They're not a replacement for that. What they are is, is supplies you know, to uh, be a supplement to your bug out bag. Uh, the concept came from a guy named James Wesley Rawls, who wrote the novel The Patriots. He called them good buckets. Um, and that was a uh, acronym for get out of Dodge. So what it was meant to do was to supply you with enough food to live for a week or so and have everything self-contained in one five gallon bucket. So, you know, at the time I put the stuff that I thought I might need in these buckets and I really am not sure what's in the bucket so no, no. this is I mean I've got a rough idea but it's yeah. been a long time this, yeah this one was packaged March 16th of 2013 2013 so it was uh you know it was uh about seven years seven eight years ago at this point right. we cracked the seal I did break the seal yeah. because I I don't left want to struggle with that I didn't clip the edges on this because I didn't want the bucket to come the top to come off easy because I, did, I wanted it to be sealed and it had an O2 absorber in it. So I used pliers and opened it up. So it's been open. But as you can see, it was labeled good and with the date that it was packaged. It's dirty. Which, and it's dirty. <laughs> it's been in the, it's been in the uh, back seat of many Jeeps and uh, behind the seat of many pickups. Yeah. And, but uh, I, you know... Nobody pays any attention to a five-gallon bucket behind the seat of your truck. It doesn't look tactical. Nobody knows what good means. So it could be literally anything. So without further ado, let's uh, dig in. It's like Christmas. Okay. See what's in there. This was a little vacuum pack like a MRE that's got, uh, it's got some tuner and some sardines and some bullion cube. Bullion cubes? Bullion cubes. Bull. Yep, uh, some rice, some cracked red wheat, I think that is. And it looks like couscous. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Who knows? A big Hershey bar. Got to have the big Hershey bar. I was hoping for chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, that was that was designed to be like a, a one-shot deal kind of a thing. Oh, Ooh. look what we have here. Oh, that good stuff in there. That would appear to be a, a bandolier of... Uh, 223 uh 556 that's uh that's 120 rounds of uh you know ar-15 ammo on strippers with the tools to load them into magazines should you ever need them there we go nice. uh let's see what do we got here breakfast get some scrambled eggs scrambled eggs with bacon mm -hmm. get some coleman brand uh Spaghetti. Zitty spaghetti. I want to see the dates on these puppies oh. is what I want to see. O2 absorber. Yep. Uh, mountain house, <laughs> mountain house wrap breakfast skillet. Yep. <laughs> well, you know, they're going to be earlier than 2013. Yep. 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 Well, the, the year, 2013. Chicken and rice. Yep. 2000. Oh, and the ever present MRE. Looks like we got a beef, beef stew MRE. So some say the manufacturing date of 2013, so that's when it was done, but it doesn't have like a expiration of... That stuff lasts for years and years right. and years. Mountain House is really good stuff. And the Coleman stuff, I believe, was actually made by Mountain House. Mm. I'm not positive. It, Wise is actually another good company that, that puts them out. And I'm, I'm not up on it. I don't buy a lot of this food, but it makes it real handy to keep, like I said, in your vehicle. If you're looking at the... The number of meals coming out. Most of these mountain house bags are made to feed two people out of one pouch. Right. 
And then, well, this is one serving out of this one. Anyway. It does. This, some, this some, are, some are singles and some are doubles. And it does say Best Buy 2015. So this is uh, we, beyond expiration. We can try that later. If that means want. we're going to try it. <laughs> So what do we get? Oh, I know. I know you were with me when I bought this. this you know, nice and now chicken. I can tell. Pesto chicken with pasta and pesto sauce, garlic pesto. Love it. Spaghetti and meatballs. Oh yeah. What's this, Emery? This oh. one is. Um, doesn't say. Oh yeah. Beef stew. Mm. Lasagna with meat sauce. Used by April 2016. Sure wow, we're getting closer. <laughs> I'm not really sure why this one was in a separate bag. Whether there was something that I doubted about the continuity of it, or maybe I did it for something separate, but maybe. I think it's Chicken a la King. Chicken a la King, yep. And uh, there's some, maybe we ought to do that one instead of, because I mean, sure. it looks like it's kind of rough. Yeah. Oh, we could do both of them. It's not like they're irreplaceable. All of them, everything that's going on, it's probably getting hard to buy this stuff. The cool thing is some of these have prices on them. I would love to find out how much these things cost right now compared to in 2013 when we bought them. Skillet scramble. Skillet scramble. Uh-oh, this lost its vacuum somewhere. Oh, I don't know if that's going to be any good. We're going to we'll say, have to try ah, those. nuts. That's what's yep, in there. Those are there. Those are like spicy peanuts. Oh, There's a yeah, hole. Yeah, it's got a hole in it. Yep. So I'm going to say that probably is a casualty it of long term. probably got squished in there and the nuts. Yep. That can yeah. happen, you know. That's okay. The chickens will eat it. Yes. And the beagle. And Teton barbecue teriyaki. Yeah, that was, that sounds really good. That was for him. Must have been teriyaki. Yep. These teriyaki. These, uh, Hand warmers, a lot of people don't realize this, but these work just as good for O2 absorbers as they do for hand warmers. So what you do is just, you know, like when you want to, uh, and that's leaking, so that's got a hole on it too. Goodness gracious. Um, when you uh, want to use one, you break it open like you would if you were going to warm your hands with it. And then what I did, I let it get warm, and, and I taped it to the inside of the bucket so it wasn't touching the food. And if you can see, that's like rust. Oh, yeah. Well, what that's it does is it's a chemical action that oxidizes. And that's what burns up the oxygen, and that's that's how they work. And there is a brand new Bic lighter and uh, four AA batteries. Mm -hmm. And that is the extent, other than one stray peanut, and then the O2 absorber. Yep. So this, wow. if you think about it, though, I mean, if you had two or three people, and obviously we've got the stoves and stuff to cook on in our other bags and, and, and things like that. Plus also there's food in those too. Just imagine how long you could go if you were cut off from home and were stuck someplace and the stores were closed and you had to eat. If you've got a supply of potable water or you know your water filter and an algae bottle and a small, small stove, you know, like a backpacking stove, you're gonna be good to go for a long time. You know, and obviously you can custom tailor this to your own needs. I can see there was some stuff that I should have put in there already that I didn't. But again, you know what they say about hindsight. But it's a, you know, it's a lot of stuff. Something like 2020. I don't know. <laughs> Which we don't want to talk about. I'll drink about. to that. We don't want to talk about 2020. <laughs> There's hindsight. no meaning to that saying. <laughs> hindsight is 20. I'm not sure the hindsight. I think I'm, well, I'd like to see it in my hindsight. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, we don't want to be the the prepper channel, but I guess we would be lying if we said that we weren't what people would call preppers. We do live off grid in the woods. This is kind of everyday life for us, but if you travel very far away from your home, people don't think about you know, how far you might have to walk if you couldn't drive home. If you had to get home on foot, how many days it would take you? Who'd be with you that might not have anything other than the clothes on their back? You know, people don't think about that stuff, you know. And it, I, it was smart in 1975. It's smart now. I mean, people used to carry some stuff in their vehicles, even if it was just extra clothes, you know, things like that. But... You know, you can be stuck away from home and it may not seem like very far. 
It may only be 20 miles, but if you've got to walk it, that's going to take a while. And if you have to stay overnight, even if you're staying overnight in a motel someplace, in my mind, the bug out bag should be geared towards that. Chances are, if you're stuck away from home, you're not going to have to live in the woods between the time you leave and the time you get back home again. Chances are you'll be able to find some place to get in and, and get warm, whether it's a, you know, a building or, you know, motel, whatever it is. But all this stuff is going to make that more comfortable. And that's kind of what I geared our, I guess I won't call them bug out bags, uh, get home bags, whatever you want to call them. That's what that stuff is geared towards. And you really don't need much when it comes right down to it. You know, you don't need all the tactical tactical stuff that people buy. You know, we're not special ops here. I mean, look at us. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so it's like uh, have the stuff to make you comfortable, the stuff you, you might need. No, Toilet no. paper, some right. wipes, yeah. first wipes. aid kit, yeah. stuff you need to eat. I think adding a half a pint of whiskey to this bucket would be a good thing to do yeah, too. Yeah. Just because, you know. <laughs> you may you may get a cough or a dry throat. You need to. Yeah, but no, it could definitely <laughs> improve your outlook on things. Exactly. Yeah, drink and walk home. Yeah. So I don't know. What are your thoughts? Can you see anything that maybe ought to be left out, or that maybe uh, was uh, a bad idea? The peanuts obviously no. didn't make it, but you know, that's been in there a long time. That, yeah. That's a long time to expect stuff that isn't made to be stored. Yeah, and that's like hard, you know, stuff that rubs and can rub its way through. Plastic, I don't think anything got into that bucket. I think, no, if anything, it uh, the plastic just failed. And, yeah. you know, you could probably eat those peanuts. They'd just be a little stale. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you had to, and I mean... Also, I mean, where's, there was another one in here. You had sardines. Yeah. No, I... I'd have no. to really be... Yeah. I'd have to really be hungry. I think at the time I was putting I'm those in there, I was thinking like bait. There is a can of tuna, and the cool thing is, is it's got like a, a cover on it, so if you don't eat the whole thing, you can yep. put that cover back on and... You can also get tuna that's in these, yes, which can, is pretty handy. you can handy. buy the tuna like that. Now. And never over overlook ramen noodles. Ramen noodles... I mean, they're not good for you, but no. you can live on them if you have to, you know, for a short period of time. Yeah. Kids I mean, love them. You don't ever hear people say, you know, well, I'm not going to eat that. You know, they'll eat ramen noodles. They will. Kids love ramen noodles. And if you don't want to use the whole packet, because I think the packet is the bad thing. The It's got all the sodium in it and stuff. If yeah. you just use half a packet, it still will flavor it. Or have your own spices with you. Maybe carry a, one of these with spices in it. Yeah. And I mean, I've, I've added... Uh, you know, I've added to uh, your little coat. Yeah, and, it's, and safety pins. That's safety another thing. Pin. If you look, there's a lot of safety pins stuck on some of this stuff. Uh, very handy because you never know. You know, if you don't have a sewing kit, that could literally hold your pants up, or you know, you can do a lot with a safety pin. It was in the case of that bag. It was designed to be able to roll it back up and close it. Yeah. That's why. That's why that is there. Right. But I mean. It's, Having four or five safety pins with you all the time is always a good idea. Yep. I think. Just like duct tape. Yep. Gotta have some duct tape. But anyway, so there you go. There's um, our this looks like it's geared more for just a food carrying bucket. Yeah. A little and, bit of ammo. Um stuff like that. Your bug out bag or your your get home bag would have more of your you know, tools and your tools, your, your cooking, you know, if you're going to cook some of this stuff, it's going to need a little stove, which we have one of those. We probably should do a video of some of this old food and see how that tastes. Yeah. I've eaten it. No, I know you haven't, but I have not. You should try. I it's not, not bad. So it's lucky. not bad. But anyway, these buckets, I mean, that's just like a regular food grade bucket with, with a regular yeah. lid and um, you can get them most of the time anywhere. Yeah. There's no reason why you couldn't take these same buckets and do a bunch of food buckets like this and have them stashed somewhere. Mm. You know, you wouldn't have to carry them around your vehicle all the time, but that's uh, that's what these have done. Yeah, I think the gamma lids um, would work really good on, like, something in your vehicle or... I don't know. If, if you were going to be getting in and out, yes. I, don't, I don't know, you know, these were not, this was not designed to get in and out. I'm of. just thinking about me trying to get into the list. Well, I understand. Like, 
<laughs> I understand. Well, you got a multi-tool yeah. and a knife. You get right. a cut and yeah. off it mm -hmm. comes. If you're hungry enough, you'll you'll get in it. Yeah, you'll you chew that, that lid off to get at it. Especially if that bottle of whiskey's in there. Jeez. <laughs> <laughs> Need your go-go juice. Yeah, wow. wow. Powered by whiskey. And some sunshine. <laughs> you are my sunshine. Aw, you're so sweet. <laughs> So anyway, maybe next time we'll uh, we'll do a video about cooking some of this stuff up. Yeah, that'll be our should. next that'll be our next thing, and then maybe we'll uh, talk about practical get home bags. We can analyze the stuff that we carry in those. It's been a yeah. long time since I've got into that bag too. I know. I think I'd be surprised at what's in there. Probably a family of rats. Oh, I hope not. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> I haven't been into it in my last two vehicles, except maybe to get some aspirin or something. Right. But yeah. Anyway. Yeah. So once again, we're well, whiskey and sunshine and off grid. Thanks for coming out. See you later. <laughs>